Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be walking you through step by step everything involved in setting up your own personal website. Um, now for this website I have registered the domain casegilbreth.com and I'm using it as a website to display some of my past work, um, kind of like a resume site for potential employers to look, look at. Um, so I'm going to be walking you through everything involved in setting up your own personal site. Now I think this website um, that I'm, we're making today in this video can not only be used as a resume site, but it can also be used as a website maybe for your family. Um, but everything involved in setting this up, I'll show you how to add images, uh, these slider images onto your homepage. I'm going to be showing you how to add you know, your social media onto your homepage. Um, one of the coolest, unique things about this website is this eye icon up here, which gives your website in this 3D format. So everything that is actually on your website, you can see by clicking on this eye icon, uh, which I think is, you know, pretty cool. But I will show you how to add an About Me page. Um, I'm going to show you how you can upload your resume so say you have your resume in a PDF or a Microsoft Word format, I'm going to show you a very easy way to get that exact same version onto your website. I will show you how to add a skills page. Um, so for instance, advertising. I think I'm about 80% out of 100 in advertising. Um, sales, about 75%. So I'll show you how to add that. I'm going to show you how to add a portfolio. So let's say you have some videos or images or links to websites that you want to display as your own. I'm going to show you how you can add those in a professional, unique way, I think, kind of. So here is my other website, learn-web-development.com. I've added that into my portfolio. Um, so I think this is a really cool way to display your works of art. Um, and I'm going to show you how to embed a Google map, of course, with your location and also add a contact form so that your visitors and potential employers, etc., can contact you directly through your website. So let's get started. Uh, we're going to do this website today in about an hour and we're going to do it for about uh, $40. I've done quite a lot of research looking for a really good professional WordPress theme for this website and I found this one for $30. I'm going to put the link to this website um, in the description. I'm also going to link to some free WordPress themes as well that you might want to use. And here I have listed the steps that we will walk through today in order to make this website. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to go out and get a domain name. So we need to register a new domain name for our website. Now this is anything like um, www.yourwebsite.com. Um, it can also be .net, um, .org, .info. Now since we're going to walk through creating a personal website today, maybe you want to register yourname.com. And the cost to register a domain name is about $15 a year. And now there's no way around this sort of annual fee. Um, all of the websites that you see online are having to pay this sort of annual fee to a domain registrar. Now the next thing that we need to do is we need to go out and get web hosting for our website. And what web hosting is, is this is basically a computer that is on 24-7 and on this computer is where we store all of our content and images and everything on our website is stored on this computer at a web hosting company. And now there's no way around this uh, um, getting web hosting either. All of the websites you see online are having to go through a website company in order to show the content on their web pages. And to get web hosting we will pay about $10 a month. And once we get here, I'm actually going to show you how to get a discount as well on this. And the next thing that we want to do is we want to install WordPress. WordPress is a content management system. It is by far the most popular system out there. 
Um, it's very, very easy to use. There's no coding involved with it. And we're actually going to install this with one click once we get there. So it's very easy to do. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to install a WordPress theme on our website. Now I've searched around quite a lot to find a very unique, um, professional WordPress theme. And this is going to be a premium theme that is going to cost $30 for this theme. I'm also going to leave a few links in the description of this video and I will show you other places to get uh, free, good looking themes as well. And lastly, I'm going to walk you through everything involved in setting this website up. I'm going to be adding content, images, everything involved in this. So let's get started setting this website up. The first things we need to do is we need to get a domain name and get hosting. So luckily we can do this in one place if we just pull up a browser and we go to hostgator.com. So www.hostgator.com. And once we get here, we will want to click on the web hosting tab. And we will come to this page where we will see that Hostgator offers several different web hosting plans. Now the plan that I always go with is the baby plan. And I always go with this plan namely because under this plan, I can host unlimited domain names. So I can host this website we're setting up today, you know, my friend's website, my mom's website. All of these websites can be hosted under this one plan. Now you can also go with the Hatsling plan if you think that you are only going to have this one domain name. So if you're only going to be setting up this one website, then you should probably go with the Hatsling plan. But I always do baby plan and I always do monthly as well. So I'm going to do monthly and I'm going to click order now. And here we are to the field where it is asking us to register a new domain name. Now, since I'm setting up a personal website that is, in going, that is going to include a portfolio of work, um, I'm going to register just my name. So I'm going to register casegilbreth.com. And we get a congratulations, casegilbreth.com is available and it's been added to our cart. Now, if you already own a domain name, say you've already registered a domain name with GoDaddy or another domain registrar, you can click right here and enter your domain name in this field. Now, we can also select in this dropdown if we want .info or .net. I generally recommend going with a .com if it is available. So once we do that, let's scroll down and we will see that we have the baby plan and that we are set up with one month. Now we see that we are getting a 20% discount off of our web hosting and I will show you how we can get a bigger savings actually. So if we scroll down to the coupon code field, we will notice that by default, HostGator has provided us a 20% uh, coupon. Now, I actually have a coupon code with HostGator that saves you 30%. And this coupon code is EasyGuide30. Once we uh, type in EasyGuide30 and hit validate, we will see that we are now saving 30% off rather than 20% off. So that is great. Um, and if you're going to register a domain name and get hosting with HostGator anyways, I do appreciate it. If you do use my coupon code, HostGator pays me a small commission and this allows me to continue making these helpful videos. So if we scroll up now, we will see we need to enter in a username and security pen. So we'll just type case and it can do 2134. Let's scroll down to hosting add-ons. I always recommend unchecking these hosting add-ons as I think that they are unnecessary. So domain privacy protection is $9.95 a year. 
basically what this does, if you keep this checked, is it keeps your information private. So if someone right now were to search your domain name that you're registering um, from this video, then your personal information can come up in search engines uh, such as Google or Bing. Now, privacy has never really been an uh, issue for me, so I always uncheck this. I always uncheck these as well, as they are just add-ons and unnecessary for what we are doing today. And I actually have another coupon code as well that will give you your first month of hosting for one penny. So this coupon code, EasyGuide30, excuse me, Easy Guide 30 is going to be more helpful for your savings if you want to have hosting for a year maybe or longer as the uh, savings amount will add up to a greater amount. Now, if you just want to start out by going with one month, I have this coupon code called my website one penny. If we hit validate there, we will see that we are getting the first month of hosting for one cent, which is pretty cool, I think. So I wanted to make sure to show you that. Now I'm going to enter in my billing information here and I will meet you on the next page. And okay, after we hit create account, we will get this page. So this is a thank you page. And once we get this, we will want to go check our email. So if we pull up our email, we'll go to Yahoo, and we can see that we have an email from sales at hostgator.com. I'm gonna open this email. And this email contains some important information, so you maybe wanna bookmark this or print this out. Um, the first link that we see here takes us to our billing center. So we can update you know, how we want to be billed, et cetera, from this link here. Where we want to go to is our control panel. This is where we will be installing WordPress. So if I click on this link, your control panel, and I come back and grab our username and password. So username is just case, and password is this long password here. Just copy that. case and password. So like I said, this is our control panel with HostGator. So in this control panel, we can do a lot of really cool things to our website. Um, for our purposes, we will be installing WordPress from this control panel. So if, once you come here, we will want to scroll down. And once we get to software services, we're going to want to click on quick install right here. So I'm going to hit quick install. And in the left menu here, we will see WordPress. We're going to want to click on WordPress and hit continue. And let's make sure that the domain that we've just registered appears here. And leave this field right here blank. Let's enter in our email. and blog title, just the name of our site. So, and we can always come back and change this later. Admin user, case, first name, last name. So like I said earlier, this is just a one-click install of WordPress, very easy. I've just clicked on this install and we're at 100%. So congratulations, your installation is ready. Now, after you get this notice, it is important to note um, that when you first register a domain and get web hosting, it can take around 24 hours for your website to actually be live. So if your website is not online right now, don't freak out. Um, it will be shortly. And in my experience, it has always helped to expedite this process by calling HostGator or contacting HostGator via live chat. So let's go to our website and let's see if WordPress has been installed. So I'm going to go to the domain that we've just registered, which is casegilbreth.com. 
and we can see that my domain name is actually not live. So right now I'm going to take a short break and when I come back my website will be on the internet. Okay, so I've just called and spoke with HostGator to see about expediting getting my website live and they were able to help me out. So let's go back to my domain name and refresh. Uh, casegilbreth.com and we can see that my website is now live. So right now our website is showing the default theme of WordPress. So the next thing we want to do is we want to log into our WordPress dashboard. So after installing WordPress, WordPress should have sent you an email with your login information. And we can also grab our login information from this page here. So I will click on our login area, which is just our domain name.com slash WP hyphen um, login. So let's enter in our information. And here we are in our dashboard. So this is basically the back end of our website. From this dashboard, we can do everything entailing our website. So we can add new content to our website, um, create new pages, add images, everything involving our website we are going to actually do from our dashboard here. So now the first thing that I always do when I log into my WordPress dashboard for the first time is I will change my password to um, something a bit more memorable. So to do this, we will go to Users. Click on Users here in the left menu. And I'm going to Edit right here. Then I will scroll down and I will enter a new password right here. And let's update profile. Okay. And now the next thing that I always do is I add a www in front of our domain name. Now by default, after first registering your domain name, the www is dropped from your domain name. So for instance, if you go to your domain or your website name and you type www the www will drop off. So this is a very easy fix and generally something I do immediately when I first get started. Um, to do this, let's go to settings right here. And we'll see here in the WordPress address URL and site address URL. And we will see our domain listed in both of these fields. What we wanna do is just add a www dot where it should appear. So I'm going to add www dot, and that looks right, and we will hit Save Changes. And we will be logged out of our dashboard because we have just changed our password as well, so let's log back in. And then let's go back to our website and make sure the www was added. And we can see that it was in fact added, which is great. Now let's take a look at what we've accomplished so far and where we're going um, with this website. So we've gone and registered our domain name. For me, that was casegilbreth.com. We have gone out and gotten web hosting. So that is done as well. And we have also installed WordPress as our content management system. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to install a WordPress theme, which is going to change the look and feel behind our website. Now, I've done quite a lot of research um, on WordPress themes to try to find something that it really makes um, our website stand out and helps make us unique and differentiate ourselves from other people. And let's go to Google, and I will find this theme. It is in Theme Forest and it is called About Me 3D Responsive. And this is a WordPress theme. So I'm going to type WordPress as well. Now I'm also going to put this link in the description here so you can find this theme a bit easier. 
So here's the theme. I have already purchased, purchased this theme. Um, I think it is a really attractive theme. Um, if you come here and you want to get the same, same theme, you can click purchase and you can buy now with a credit card or you can also use PayPal. So since I've already purchased this theme, I can go ahead and install this on our website. So I'll go back into our dashboard and I'm going to go to appearance and themes. Then we're going to come up here and hit install themes. And we will hit upload. And let's find this zip file. So here is the theme. And make sure that it is in a zip file. And let's hit install now. And let's hit activate. And it says new theme activated visit site. Let's go back to our website. So, and let's refresh our website. And we can see that obviously the look and feel behind our website has changed drastically. So this is the new theme that we will be playing with and making our own. So we'll be adding our content and everything about our website on here. So let's get started. The first things that I do is I go to pages and I create two new pages. So we'll see that we have a sample page here by default. I am going to trash this page. And I'm going to add two new pages. The first page I will call home. And on this page, I'm going to make sure to select the template as home page. So make sure to select your home page, the template home page. And I'm going to hit publish. And let's hit add new again. And I'm going to title this page blog. And then I will hit publish. The next thing that I do that is a very important step that you to make sure to do, um, we'll go to settings and reading. And we need to set our home page and blog page that we just created as static. So up here it says front page displays. We want to hit a static page and for front page we will hit home. This is going to make sure that the um, default home page template that is associated with this WordPress theme, this will make it appear in this theme properly. So for post page blog, we have selected that and let's hit save changes. The next thing that we do is go to appearance and theme options. And here is where we're going to start adding all of our skills and information into this website through this theme. So we're going to add information for each one of these sections here. So general, here is where we can add a Google Analytics tracking code, which we can do later. And here it's asking us if we want to um, hide one of these uh, skills. For instance, if we don't want to have our resume on our website, we can click hide resume. For our purposes, I'm going to include a resume and all of these um, items here. So let's click on menu. And here we can, for instance, write our name. And this is asking us what font size we would like this text to be in. So let's save this and let's go back to our site and check it out. So let's refresh our website. And we can see that we have a new look on our homepage. 
and that the pages that we've just added are appearing properly. We also have this feature on this theme where we have kind of like a 3D look. So we can click on this eye icon and we can see all of the different aspects of our website all at once, which I think is pretty cool and very unique. Um, but let's go back to menu. Let's actually delete this. And let's keep moving along. Let's click on styles. We can see we can edit the colors and the font and etc. of our text. Um, v card. So this is going to be basically our business card. So this is the first thing that our visitor is going to see when he gets to our website. So we can see exactly the information that we need to put in these fields, which I think is really cool about this theme. So I'm going to type my name, Case Gilbreth. Um, font size, they have it as 90 pixels right now. Uh, we can come back and change that as well. Second column, I'm going to type advertising professional. Um, we can also have our Facebook links, um, Twitter. It's a good idea to make sure that you have your HTTP. Um, and let's have our Twitter. Twitter.com slash case Gilbert. And let's type our LinkedIn as well. LinkedIn.com slash case Gilbert. And of course, we have a YouTube channel we can have as well. So YouTube.com slash user slash case Gilbert. And we can also have um, our mail icon link to your email address. So if we just type mail to in this format. And let's go to save changes. Now let's go back to our website and let's refresh. So let's go back to our home page. And we can see that the font is looking a bit too big. So we're going to change that right now. Um, now, and you can see by by writing this um, your email address in this style, mail to colon case dot gilbreth at yahoo.com or your email address. When someone clicks on this icon, it is going to actually pull up a email and it's going to have your email right away. Okay, so let's decrease our font size here. So I'm going to go back here and let's get something a bit better. So let's go maybe go down to 70 and let's take our font size for advertising professional down to 40. Let's save and let's refresh our homepage. And it's looking a little better, but we need a few images on our homepage. So let's add a few images to our homepage. To do this, let's simply go down to slides and let's add a new slide. So we can name the pictures as well, um, but let's grab an image first. So I have chosen a few images that I'd like to add can grab this image first. And I will set that as a featured image. You can just title that as Stockholm. And I will publish that photo. Let's add a few more uh, slides here. These are going to be, be appearing on our homepage and they're going to slide through. Set another featured image. Let's go to our images here. We can select this image. Click set featured image. Can title this Cleveland. And I'll hit publish.
And let's add one more slide here. I'll set featured image, upload, select files, and I can grab this image here. That is a featured image. Videos, to publish. And I'll hit update again. And now let's go back to our home page and refresh. And we can see that we have some Im images now on our home page, um, which is pretty cool. And it looks like we can also edit our font a little bit over here to make it so there's not a white that you know this much of a white space below the images. So let me show you what I mean. Let me go back to our dashboard. Let's go to appearance, um, theme settings, and let's go to our B card. Let's maybe type 30, advertising professional. Come back and let's refresh. Okay, so pretty cool. Um, by just decreasing our font size here, we have gotten rid of that white space that was appearing below our, our picture. So I've got a rather long last name as well, which takes up a bit of uh, space here. But this is going to be the front page of our website, which I think is pretty cool. Um, here is how we can get to our home page. Um, we also have these options here. So we're going to add an about section we're going to add a resume on here. So I'm going to show you how to um, add your resume onto your website. I'll show you how to add your skills and portfolio. So maybe you have some videos or some images or some projects that you've made that you want to show off to people on your website. And here is our contact form. So let's get started. Let's update our about section. And that is right here. So let's go back to our theme options here and we can um, type some information here. So, hello, my name is Case Gilbreth and I am an advertising professional based in New York City. So again, we can add some information about us. My name is Case Gilbreth address 1441 Broadway, um, New York, New York, 118, email, um, age 27, birthplace, Wichita, Kansas, and let's hit save changes here. And of course, if you would like to add an image of yourself or a picture for your about section, we can go into add media and simply choose an image here and upload it, upload it into this text. Let's go back to our website and let's go to our about page. And first we need to make sure to actually hit save changes here. And let's refresh. And we can see that the content that we're adding in this section is appearing under our About Me section, which is pretty cool. Um, now let's keep on moving along. Um, in regards to having a resume, there is a really nice section here where you can um, write out your resume or copy and paste your resume from uh, Microsoft Word or maybe you have your resume in a PDF. I have found this to be a lot easier by using a plugin um, through Google Docs. So you don't even need to have Google Docs, um, but this plugin is going to make, it's just going to embed the PDF image that, you know, PDF document that you have on your computer, it's going to em embed it um, into this section. So let me show you how again, I will add this plugin. So it's Google, the plugin is called Google Doc Embedder. Um, and here's the plugin right here. So I'm going to click install now here and I'm going to click okay. 
this just makes it a lot easier to add your resume onto your website, um, which is really a, one of the great things about the WordPress dashboard and this functionality of it allowing you know developers to come in and and add all of their plugins for free. So we've done that. We want to come now to settings and GDE settings right here. And this is pretty cool. Um, if we go up to media and we hit add new on media, we are going to upload a PDF version of our resume into our dashboard. So if I just find my resume here, and it's right here, I will load that. And I will click edit on the resume. And let's copy this file URL. Let's go back to settings. Let's go to GDE settings. And now let's go back to appearance, theme settings. Go to our resume and we will want to click on Google Doc Embedder. So let's click that. And again, I have uh, copied the file URL of the resume that I've just loaded and I am going to insert that. And let's click Save Changes. Let's go back to our resume and let's refresh and we can see that the PDF version of this resume has been loaded so this is the in the exact same format as what I have on my computer so this is the exact same resume format that I'm emailing to companies um, and etc so we have a resume on here I think this is a much simpler process rather than um, sitting sitting here and trying to get everything formatted correctly by typing your resume in this field. So that's pretty cool we have that. Let's keep on moving along. Um, as far as skills, in this section we can write out our top skills. Um, so we can type advertising and it's asking us what percent between one and 100 um, do I think I have this skill at? So I think I'm about 80% with advertising, so I'm gonna click 80 there. Second skill, we can do marketing, we can do 85. Um, third skill, sales, let's do 75. Um, we can type you know, lead generation, we can type 90. Um, we can do web design, um, 85, and let's click save changes. And again, let's go back to our website and let's click on skills and let's refresh. And we can see what we have just done here. So the skills that we've noted, advertising in red, we can see that we're about 80% out of 100 in advertising. Uh, marketing, um, 85%, and etc. So it's kind of a cool, unique way to display the skill, you know, your skill set that you have. Now, portfolio. This is a pretty cool section where you can add uh, your work, maybe some projects that you've done right onto your website so that your potential employers can see. And here, I'm going to go to portfolio, actually, in the left menu here in your dashboard and I will add a new portfolio item. For this we can do you know how to make a website and I am going to go grab the link to 
my how to make a website video. Um, so I'm going to grab that link and click share. And let's paste this in here. Um, now this can be a little bit tricky because this theme wants this YouTube link in this format and YouTube is not um, giving us the link in that format. So what we want here is just this little bit of numbers. So I am going to do the grab that youtube.com um, slash m embed slash and we are going to get rid of the last part and let's click update. Now let's go back to our port portfolio and let's refresh. We can see so we have an item here and that our video comes up here, which is pretty cool. Um, now you can also see that you can change the size that the video appears in when you click on it. Um, so we can view portfolio item. Um, we can also add images. Um, we can add photos. So if we want to add a photo, we just need to go to our media and add a new media item and simply paste the file URL of that video for the images to appear in our portfolio. So that is that. Now let's go to our last page, which is our contact form. Um, so if we come back to appearance and theme settings, we will see another item called contact. So contact header, um, contact me, recipient name of the contact form email, so Case Gilbreth, um, contact form email, so we want to of course include the email where we are going to receive emails from people who contact us through the site. Um, Google Map, um, this is important to have as well, so if we go to maps.google.com and I can type in my address, 1441 Broadway. And if we click on this link here, and we can grab this iframe. So let's click there and copy this HTML. And let's paste that in here. Let's click Save Changes come back to our contact form and refresh. And we can see that we now have a, you know, pretty professional, good looking contact form with a map that shows our location. And so, yeah, now I think that we have a pretty good looking professional website um, that is really, you know, unique and it really differentiates ourselves against other people out there. You know, what's great about having a personal website, um, you know, maybe you're also putting a website together for your family. Um, but what's great about having a personal website, you know, having your own name and your domain name is that when potential employers maybe go to Google and other search engines and search your name, your domain name with your name is it and it is generally going to be the first thing that appears. So you really want to brand yourself in a positive way with a website with your domain name. So now the last thing that I want to show you how to do is start adding blog posts and start adding on to your blog on your website. Having a blog is a great way to really get your name out there and let people know who you are and what you're interested in. So here is our blog. We are going to add a few blog posts. In the left menu up here, we can click on posts and this Hello World is a default blog post added by WordPress, so I'm going to trash that. And I will add a new blog post here. So welcome to my website. Hello everyone. I am glad you found my 
my website. I hope you find what you were looking for. Now we may also want to have an image for our blog post. We can go to upload files, grab an image from our computer. Um, So it generally takes a little bit to upload high quality photos. This is a high resolution photo. And there it goes. Let's set that as a featured image. And let's publish. So hopefully this will give you an idea of what your blog will look like and how to add blog posts moving forward. So let's go back to um, our blog. And we can see that we've just added our first blog post. So when you add new blog posts, they will appear on top of this blog post. So that is pretty cool. Um, Now, one of the coolest things that I like about this website is when you click on this eye icon, everything that you've added onto your website will appear in a 3D format.